And for this next conversation, I am uh, definitely glad to have the individual who's here before me. Uh, part of the reason why is because, for one, you know, I, I, this is someone that I think uh, our community has been was concerned about, but also because, um, you know, there are some people on St. Martin who have done certain things. Um, I would say that kind of breakthrough. So for others, you know, to make to make a way for others, and this gentleman here, you know, uh, is from the the media field. Um, who has basically been doing vlogging before vlogging was actually a thing. <laughs> yes. um, a lot of us, you know, are aware of... I mean, the fact that, you know, consistently, whether you liked it or not, this guy has put on productions. Um, yeah, even, I think he did a, maybe one or two movies. I did one movie. Okay, did yeah, one the, movie. The first, Tim Martin's first movie. <laughs> and, yeah. and the boy he already gave away um, himself with the voice. To put a name uh, to the individual I'm speaking to, that is Mr. Andrew Dick. Welcome, Andrew, and yeah, it's a, really a pleasure to have you here. Ralph, good to be here. Thank you so much for the invite. Of course, I couldn't turn it down when you ask. <laughs> no problem. And uh, for one, uh, for, for first of all, how are you doing? I mean, I must say you look you look great, man. Thank um, you. It's good to see you. Hey, listen, God is good. Um, I've been um, in some very dark months um, f for me personally. Um, it's been uh, very difficult um, after I s suffered from some um, substance abuse. Um, I went, uh, you know, and I seek some help and I was able to come out, um, come out of it with my sanity. Mm. And um, I was in turning point. Mm -hmm. I'm still in turning point. So, um, you know, many people are asking, you know, where is he? What is he doing? Uh, is he okay? I'm fine. Um, it's just that um, I had to take some time for me. And I decided to, um, you know, do the program that they have there. A wonderful program they have um, for substance abuse. And um, it's been uh, going good so far. And I thank everybody for their concerns. And I, I, I appreciate you saying that. One, uh, I just, actually just last week, I had on the director of the Turning Point, Dr. Thomas. Yes, yeah, Dr. Thomas. Yes, yeah. our, 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 our star psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has uh, helped so many people. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. She's um, helped me a lot. Um, she's been uh, having sessions with me from since the beginning, uh, from the onset, because she's a director of the Turning Point, mm -hmm. besides being a psychologist there. So um, it's it's been nothing but um, good vibes. Mm -hmm. So I can't, uh, can't complain. Yeah. And uh, uh, one thing you said, Andrew, which I appreciate is that you recognize you needed help. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and and I know it's kind of cliche to say this now after um, you know you had a politician that recently said that, but <laughs> it is yeah. something that um, you have to admit to yourself. Correct, admit. And to once you admit to yourself, um, it's smooth sailing from there on. Uh, if you continue to say that you don't you don't have a problem, um, things are fine. Um, you're just gonna do it on your own. Um, trust me, it 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 just can't work. So while going on this uh, rehabilitation process, I was able to also find myself spiritually mm. and um, get spiritual guidance also from Turning Point. So um, I, I've, I've, I've managed to um, go in a better direction in, in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's why I needed the time, um, just, um, just a, a complete stop of doing everything mm -hmm. and just time to myself to... Heal. Heal. Yes. Yeah. And that's we, that's, yes. that's 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 a mouthful. That's it. Yeah. And um, that indeed I did. And um, thanks to the program um, there at Turning Point, I was um, able to, you know, rise above and um, restart all my programs. Yeah. And that's why I'm yeah. here. Yeah. 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 I saw that. <laughs> saw that. Um, he started back um, reading with a dick. Yes, reading um, with a dick. Uh, that's a newspaper program, people. Yes. And um, we do it every every morning. Um, on Facebook. So that's been going good so far. I started it in August and um, we've been going good so far with viewers being steady, steady growing. So it's still uh, still a, a, a program that, um, you know, people have to get used to. But um, people like my little satire or comedy or uh, just a little bit of 
commentary after the newspaper or during the newspaper because there's always some interesting stories yeah, so you're, in the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading in between the lines, basically. Yeah, so reading between the lines. More than just what's on the, in the story. I should have called it between the lines or shocks. Well, you can always rebrand it. <laughs> I mean, I think you've been a guy who is good about good with rebranding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's why one of the, the, the main things I was asked since I started um, being online is when is the, the late night? Is the late night still coming back is it still going to be the same is it still coming back mm -hmm. so then we had to really um sit down i also had to sit down with of course the turning point and see how i could um bring it back but bring it back in, in a more of a positive light okay uh because it could it could also be seen as a negativity for some reason um from this onset you know late night has always been your um policing of politics mm -hmm. more or less I, li I like how you put that yeah so that's how i like to put it from the beginning that's that whole idea because i've i've always said i don't want to be and no offense to oral gibbs but i don't want to be the oral gibbs of st martin i want to be the trevor noah you know you want to be the david letterman the jay leno um, i want to be more of um, late night entertainment um, so anything that happens uh, on a political sphere um, you can really look forward to it on the late night, and it's seen being seen in a in a funny, in a funny way, funny but still but understand. Yeah. yeah, but critical. Yeah, yeah, but still understandable to the normal folk. Because yeah. I've always said the the program when people ask for what what's the target group, um, I always tell them it's for everybody. Mm. Because uh, whether you're in college or whether you um, are on the block. Um, or whether you're just relaxing uh, and um, you don't read a newspaper, uh, you can still find pieces of information um, in the program. So that's the idea. Okay, okay. That's great. I, th I think I answered your question, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I do have another question for you. Um, yeah, and, of course, uh, in this case, I'm okay if, if you don't answer since it's on a personal note, but I'm asking because I think it's something that could help other people and help other people understand the ease of being influenced by substance abuse. Oh, well. And the ease it, of, of getting your hands on it. It's, 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 it's way too easy. Um, and by that, I mean it's easy to get your hands on it because um, we live in a world where um, the substance is, 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 is everywhere. You know, and sometimes if you do, even if you don't look for it, it finds you mm. based on um, the limited things they have to do, um, um, particularly on St. Martin. So I, I talking about my personal experience now, um, you know, going to the events and, and, and going um, out a lot. Uh, you, you always want to ease your mind and you want to have some more fun. So it, it's pretty easy for um, to get access to it. Um, the sad thing about it is, is when there 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 isn't a a, a place or a, there isn't a space of when it's being used too much, and mm. and and by that I mean you just abusing it now, um, because at first first the first thing you think about is oh you know it's it's just some a little bit of cannabis it's just weed I mean you know big thing just a plant it's just a plant you know it's you know and you you find excuses for yourself and you use it and then afterwards when it when it gets to a point uh, where it becomes an addiction then you you realize you have a problem but most of the time it end up being way too late to yeah. realize that you had a problem yeah and I, I, in my case, other people had to realize it for me. I didn't realize it on my own because to me, I, um, I, I mentally, I thought I was fine. Mm. Yeah. Mentally, I thought I was fine when I was going through it. And then other people who cared for me um, managed to, you know, do the whole um, sit down and basically tell me this is where I'm going. This is what I did. This is what I'm doing. And I had to seek help um, after that. So, um, it's easy to get access to, but I would tell people to do research 
um, about it before having to go in that direction. Yeah, or because uh, it's kind of pitched in a way. It's just leisure, you know. It is, and and that, that's that's and that's leisure. and that's I mean, that's the false that's the false preach. Bun, just to e- make it simple. <laughs> you know the slangs, yes, but um, it's not true. You know, it's just some simply not true. Uh, addiction is an addiction. And um, w- whether you make an excuse for it just being for leisure or just f- being an ease off, um, it's end up um, mentally uh, messing you up in the, later, in, the, in the later run. And then the damage it does to your relationships. And that's, that's, hurts, and that's one thing others. you don't think. Yeah, it, and it does. Yourself. It does, it does, it does. I and mean, I mean, my partner can tell you the same thing. Um, I have a, a girlfriend and she had to go through that and, and we have two kids together. Hmm. And I can tell you that it wasn't it wasn't easy for her too to see me in uh, in that state. Mm-hmm. Um, and thank God to her, you know, she sticked through and, and she also was one of the main people who also made sure that I got the necessary help, you know, and I did get the help. And I'm thankful for it every day. Okay, all right. And I appreciate I appreciate you, you know, sharing your story, Andrew. I, I think it, yes, it it can be maybe scary. It's like, man, I'm in the spotlight. No, no, no. Okay. I I'm not a hypocrite. I, I try not to be a hypocrite when it comes to the the highlight and spotlight okay. because I always find that I, I place a lot of people um, on the spotlight a lot. Okay. So I always prepare myself to also be in the spotlight because yeah, it's called give and take. So True. and uh, yeah, because I was because I was gonna segue into you know that basically your career media because also you know being in media you're often called to be out to find out what's going on, um, and you have an extensive record um, where media is concerned. Um, yeah. I know you once worked with Mr. Williams, Ricardo Williams at AVS News. AVS News, yes. Uh, was that your first start? Um, yes, that was my first job. Was at AVS at 16 years old. Wow. And how how was that? I guess and oh. and how and I did was that when you realized you know you wanted to be a media professional? Well, you know, tell you the truth, um, in school. It was um, pretty difficult for me um, when it comes to popularity and so on. I was always the nerd, believe it or not, in really? school. Yes. And um, people who went to school you with seem me. like a back of the school bus I, person? Or? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know, people in, who went to school with me, they can tell you. And they will, they will testify and tell you that they never expected the, the talent that I had. Um, and the the big mouth that I have, um, because I was always in in in, in my books in school, um, because um, I came from Suriname um, at the age of fifteen, and then I started MPC here. Mm. I couldn't speak a lick of English, not even a little bit, nothing, zip zero, no oh, English wow. at all, just Dutch. And I had to I had to I watch a lot of TV and I um, read a lot of books. And then, of course, I get the Samaritan slang um, while uh, being teased mostly by um, my school classmates uh, because of the last name Dick, you can imagine. I mean, yeah. Oh, my God. You know, the first from the first day I get, went in and I introduced myself as Andrew Dick. Especially at school like MPC. M- yeah. Straight up bullying. Yeah. I come, yeah. It was straight up. I was being teased. So... Just to hide from being teased, I used to always be in the office and read books and be the class of outster, uh, uh, the class representatives. Uh, and it was, it was then from then on that I, I noticed, you know what? If I'm going to be Andrew Dick, let me be a, a popular Andrew Dick. Let me be yeah. somebody popular so that at least people will respect me. That's, that's what I thought. So uh, my first um, job training was I went and looked for a medium, and the only medium that would t- take me at that time was AVS News, mm. and that was Mr. Ricardo Williams, and he, he saw me 16 years. He said, "Ask me what I want to do." I told him I want to have the Sif, the first comedy TV show in Saint Martin, a youth TV show, and he looked at me and he said, "Okay." All right, well, you can do job training here. And I did my job training there. And then as soon as I finished high school, my first job was uh, he gave me a, a, a shot at AVS News. And, wow. um, and I was an assistant cameraman. Mm. And I worked my way up from assistant cameraman to journalist within uh, three, three years. 
Yes, and then you went out getting stories. And yes, producing. and started to do my own, yeah, producing because nice. I had to, yeah. So people like Wendell Moore I work with, uh, Elton Richardson, uh, Gina Bruni, Audrey Jack. Audrey Jack. Yeah. I mean, those are all their friends, and um, they taught me a lot uh, while I was at uh, ABS News. So ABS News then... It was like your foundation then. was my foundation, yeah, nice. correct. And then um, I was um, fortunate to work with um, Eddie Williams, of um, uh, Radio Swaliga 99.9. Uh, that was um, fun, fun times. I worked three years for him also as a junior reporter there. Um, and then I worked at PG82. Mm -hmm. um, I did my, t my radio program there. I worked at Pearl 98.1. I did my radio program there. Um, and then I also worked at Today Newspaper for six months. And six after to the yeah six month contract, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Gibson. <laughs> and um, as soon as the six months finished, um, they renewed it for a year. But then the Herald sent an offer to me to mm -hmm. come and work for them. And of course, who don't want to work at the Herald? So I took the opportunity to work with the Herald, and I worked for the Herald for three years. And then after that, um, the late night with Andrew Dick was born, and um, I it was mostly a side hobby, and then it became my main full income full time afterwards. So I've been making fun of politician for about a while. A while. I yes. trying to think. I think <laughs> on the years from two thousand and six. Because um, I did go ahead and do the, the youth comedy program, mm -hmm. and that was the Andrew Dick show. And that was um, the sketch show before you had the famous sketches online and yeah, so on. Yeah, yeah. That was just simply on TV, yeah. local television, sketches all day, every day. With, you um, know, with, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry continue, but honestly, you have to say, Andrew, you know, um, despite everything, yeah. uh, you know, I'll give you applause because you're, you're really a pioneer. In media and I, you know, new, uh, as a for, for our generation. Yeah, which is so you, you, you were, weird, you, were you know, because learn, I came in. You were able to learn from the let's say the big dogs, you know. Yeah. You were at PJ two. You were at Pearl, um, Mr. Williams, AVS News. I know, you know, he ran a great production there. You know, so you were able to, you know. Like, I was able to yeah. really sponge off, like, honestly. Um, yeah. School of hard knocks, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, and even I can't even forget um, the guidance I received from uh, Alita Singh from um, from yeah, the, the from Daily Herald, Herald. Yes. you know, because she also was um, instrumental yeah. in um, you know getting me there also. So um, I was coached by by some of the best, mm -hmm. and that, I think that's why I'm so tough. Um, people will consider me a little bit brutal sometimes, but um, I I come from. If I ask you a question, you answer it. If you don't answer it, that means you don't have the answer. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, we, we, we don't go ring around the rosy because we know what you're doing whenever you do that. So I was able to, to learn. I'm very so grateful for it, you know. Um, and after so much um, time um, doing it, I just enjoy doing it. And, and, and late night is one of my pride and joys, honestly. And that's why um, I decided to actually return with it also. Besides yeah. people um, asking for it, you know, it's, I just wanted to, to start it and, back. And I will add, you know, I appreciate it late night. Um, late night and XXM politics. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Rest in peace to Devondre. Rest in peace um, to him, yes. You know, when you guys did that, it was funny. You know, um, when it was nice podcast style, right? Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, indeed. And so it was, yeah, it was funny, but also just a simplification of, you know, what's happening. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and that was the idea. The idea was just two persons who um, know uh, know enough about politics uh, and can talk about the rumors, the non rumors, and the facts. And um, and uh, the the Vondry was always instrumental in in. Being the, the 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 guy on the street um, type of um, facade, and and very bold, and very bold, yes. and me being you know in the in the media already, I was able to you know yeah, correct it with yes, yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. certain things that were um, said or certain things that were yeah, 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 yeah. So that we we had fun with doing that program, and um, you know just before he passed away, we were talking about bringing it back. And so uh, one of the things I'm working on is also bringing it back sooner or later. But um, I 
taking my time because yeah, yeah, you know it's, you don't want to do too much and burn out quick yes you definitely don't want to burn out at all yeah but we can say modern politics is um, something that we're gonna con- definitely continue um, with um, some great contributors and you luckily I remember you was a guest you was the last yeah, guest yeah um, right before the election right before the yeah, election yeah 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 that's cool man um, and so I guess this also no I was gonna stick on you being in media, um, but so let's say, what were some of the main lessons you learned? Basically, you know, you again, you learned from let's say the big dogs in media and Saint Martin. What what are the lessons that you still keep with you? Be yourself. Okay, um, that was always said to me. I mean, the only person that was in a way. Um, um, maybe it was done um, deliberately to encourage me, but Mr. Williams, Eddie Williams, used to always tell me, with a voice like mine, it ca- you can't make it in radio. And I always t- always t- thought that was like the craziest thing he could have told me because I was working for him as an assistant <laughs> reporter getting the stories, and he would always block out my voice um, and then um, insert it in the news without my voice. So all the big interviews he would have, most of the time I would be the one doing it. He would just be in the studio waiting for me to bring the interviews and then he would splice it and put it in for the broadcast. And only when um, it was in in my third year is when he started to leave my voice in and he told me, well, he he told me that they encouraged me, (laughs) Uh, you know, because people get used to my annoying voice. So I... People um, always told me, just be yourself. And and I would tell the same to anybody who's coming up in the media or who wants to, to go into media, um, to never never just try to be somebody else. Be yourself because um, at the end, people will always look for, for you because you were always honest enough to be yourself. Mm, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Appreciate that. Um, and so... Now that you have late night coming back up, yeah. uh, when when are you gonna be restarting? Uh, where can people tune in? And all right, well, um, late night um, we were fortunate to be almost everywhere, um, and we conti- will continue that. And by that I mean we have um, the Simon cable uh, in Madam Estate. We are on Tele Tele TV or something. They have a new name for the. The TV oh, station, Tell TV, Tell TV yes. Okay, te- okay. Um, in the evening hours at uh, eleven o'clock, then um, on TV Carib, which is on WTN Network, um, it's also on um, the the cable station of Tell TV. So you can always find TV Carib there, uh, and you can go online on tvcarib.com and um, click on the the full episodes of. Uh, late night with Andrew Dick, uh, but mainly it's going to be um, shown on my Facebook page, which is Late Night with Andrew Dick. If you just go on the page, follow the page, like it, um, and you'll get notifications um, with um, new programs on a daily basis. We start in November the fifteenth, so it's next week Monday, just after St Martin's Day. Okay, and um, I'm Every very excited about it. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Gotcha. Yeah, so Monday to Friday. So so um, in the morning, we'll have the, the newspaper reading. And in the evening hours at about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, sometimes depending on um, if I finish in time. But um, people can look out for it be- being broadcasted live on the Facebook page, at least my opening dialogue, uh, monologue, which is uh, mainly what people look forward to uh, when I put it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the it's monologue. It's always interesting. To say yeah, least, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, I'm excited also because um, a number of people um, say, are saying that they, n- they haven't seen um, meetings of parliament um, on Facebook um, in a yes, long time. Because, um, it, it was, yeah, and we know the reason why is because, you know, the former president uh, decided, had decided to just put it on um, uh, the website. Vimeo, yeah. yeah, which was pretty difficult to actually broadcast on Facebook. But um, I'll be able to um, watch the meetings, clip the important parts, and put it on um, my show. Yeah, to let people know. So we could um, go back to how it was when, uh, whenever something happened 
you know, which well significant happened in Parliament that we highlighted on the show. Gotcha. Okay. So that's the idea. All right, Andrew. I would like to thank you so much then for um, yeah sharing your story basically. Um, thank you, Maral. Thank you, thank you so much. And of course, um, good luck to you. I, I enjoy your programs very much, and keep uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Well, do. All right. So to um, you listeners and viewers, that was Mr. Andrew Dick on the news behind the news, and he will be back with um, late night with Andrew Dick. Um, yeah, the, the late night show, right? That's the late night show. Okay, the late night show. Yeah, with Andrew Dick, um, starting next week, uh, November fifteenth. So do look out for that, and thank you guys for listening as well, and uh, see you for our next broadcast.